to Washington now and the stalemate in the House that could hold up military aid to Israel and Ukraine. Republicans are set to meet behind closed doors on Monday as they restart from the very beginning the process of trying to elect a new speaker. ABC's Jay O'Brien is on Capitol Hill with what comes next. Jay, good morning to you. It's been a long week up there. It has, Janae. Good morning. House Republicans are really back to square one here in this saga of who will be the next Speaker of the House. And the field of candidates now vying for that top job is getting crowded. This morning, a free-for-all in the race for the next Speaker of the House. At least seven Republicans expected to be in the running, including, sources tell ABC News, Majority Whip Tom Emmer, the number three Republican in the House along with representatives Byron Donalds, Kevin Hearn, Mike Johnson, and several others. All jumping in after firebrand conservative Congressman Jim Jordan dropped out of the race, following a week of failing to secure the votes needed to win the speaker's gavel. We need to come together and figure out who our speaker is going to be. In his third vote on the House floor, Jordan losing 25 Republicans, more voting against him than in his previous two attempts. The speaker has not been elected. House Republicans then meeting behind closed doors and casting secret ballots where 112 of Jordan's colleagues voted against the Ohio Republican remaining their speaker nominee after tensions high. It's as swampy as swamp gets and Jim Jordan deserved better than that. I feel like we had to have this out and do it right. But 18 days after former Speaker Kevin McCarthy's ouster, House Republicans remain deeply divided and no one has a clear path to the required 217 votes to be speaker. There's a lot of deep wounds that need to heal. Was there anyone in your view that can get to 217? It's going to be tough because we are fractured. The House paralyzed. No legislation can be brought to the floor until a speaker is elected. This as President Biden's $100 billion foreign aid package, including assistance for Israel in its war against Hamas and continued funding for Ukraine, now hangs in the balance. Congress also has to act to avert a government shutdown less than a month away. House Republicans now tell us they will come right back here to Capitol Hill Monday night and begin the process all over again of trying to pick a new speaker. Wit. Jay O'Brien for us. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.